Hello, Cancer. Your weekly love tarot reading begins with the moon, the queen of wands, death, and the magician. Your person coming into this connection with you is judgment for them. Ten of pentacles, two of swords, and the knight of swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have seven of cups. All right. So... Yeah, Seven of Cups, relationships that are fleeting, uh, relationships that are, you know, made of sand, you know, nothing. They could just, like, dissolve, you know. Seven of Cups is uh, building things that have no foundation, no future, <laughs> right? No longevity, um, plans, pie-in-the-sky plans, ideas that just don't, that aren't realistic. Now, let's get right into your reading, Cancer, you and your person. Well, you come in moon energy, your person comes in with judgment. So for you, you know, you're kind of like, uh, you know, the moon resonates hard for you, Cancer. So you're really in your own skin in terms of your emotions and your feelings right now. You're very unsure, um, but you're having a lot of intense emotions, right? And you're not really sure what you're feeling right now. We're going to get some clarity. Oftentimes, moon energy, you know, the emotions come, but you're not entirely sure where they're coming from, why they're happening, right? Um, you're also just in a period right now of not knowing very much of, you know, the next steps of what's happening. Your person coming in with judgment, they're coming in feeling, um, <clears throat> well, you know, it doesn't feel like they're wanting forgiveness. You know, judgment is, it, it can indicate desire for forgiveness, but it can also indicate a judgment mentality. There may be a, a feeling here that your person, you know, is... Um, it's making some decisions, making some judgments about some things. Let's get some clarity here. Um, because as I see, look ahead, your person has a decision. So this judgment energy here, it, it feels like there's some issues going on here for them that um that they need to think about in terms of if it if 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 it works with who they are and it works with their sort of principle set. Let's get some clarity on judgment. I want to get that card first. Strength, right. All right. So there, you know, there's things going on here in this connection with you where it's triggering, right? It's a little bit triggering for them. Um, they're also kind of uh, I want to say trying to, you know, contain their emotions, they, you know, um, and trying not to have too much, too much judgment against you, you, Knight of Cups energy, yeah, so you're coming in, um, you know, you want this in connection with this person, right, you're coming in Knight of Cups, you're really kind of like working towards this with this person, but something is going on here that is causing them to have to, um, to have to sort of hold back, right, a little bit. It may, they may be getting a little bit jealous, a little bit irritated, a little bit angry about something, something going on with you in your life. Nevertheless, you're kind of in the dark about where everything is going. You have that moon energy. You're not really sure where everything is going right now with this person, but you do know you want to be with them. Knight of Cups energy comes in, right? You absolutely know that, you know, what you want is to let them know that you want them, right? You have a lot of emotions. These emotions are tied to this person, but there's a lot of unsurety here about the future, about, you know, how is this all going to play out? What's going to happen here, right? Um, it could be that you're both just in circumstances that are making it difficult, because as I come back to the Seven of Cups, there's a feeling here that plans are really unrealistic for some reason. There may be living conditions that are not really working out in favor of you two being together, or there's some outside influence that might be at play here. Um, let's take this one as a clarifier. And Magician and Five of Cups. Okay, so let's see how you guys look, see each other, because with that clarity there, yeah, they see you, uh, you see them as a Queen of Wands, and they see you as a Ten of Pentacles. So for you, Cancer, they represent... A strong, feminine, fiery energy, somebody who is very sort of awake in life. You know, they're present. 
Uh, they've been through some things, but they're very smart, very independent, and just very, very sort of creative and fiery, right? Queen of Wands is a strong, wise individual. So this is really strong energy, Cancer, and it's no wonder that your Knight of Cups is marching towards them. They see you as a Ten of Pentacles. They see you as a possible excellent love match for them, you know, like that you guys could have a really good physical love life together. Ten is completion. So they see a sense of completion. And yet there's a little bit of angst here with that judgment. So again, it, it feels to me like it goes back to some kind of outside influences here that are maybe in between the two of you. Your clarity here is magician and five of cups. You're having to really do a lot to make sure that this relationship happens. And they're kind of feeling a little bit Five of Cups energy is like really lamenting the past. There may be a back uh, past relationship that is weighing on them. Okay, Cancer. You know, this may go back to this judgment energy here too as well. Okay, so they want to move forward with you. They have a really strong feeling that a future with you could be great. You know, the whole shebang, right? Great life, great physical life, great emotional. Everybody's happy. Nevertheless, this Five of Cups and this Two of Swords comes in. So Cancer, this person may indeed, this strength and this triggering here, it may not have anything to do with you at all. It may indeed be that um, they're still kind of pining away for somebody. I wonder if this person has just gotten out of a relationship or there is some kind of baggage here that they're bringing to the table. And this judgment here that, that they're coming in with could indeed be um, a feeling almost of guilt on their part. Because with this Five of Cups here, they may be feeling like they're betraying someone being with you, although they want to be with you. Um, but there is some healing. It feels to me like there's some healing from a previous relationship that needs to happen. They're still feeling kind of the sting of a previous relationship, and they still got some hangups about it with that judgment card, right? And so, um, yeah, no wonder they're pulling, you know, they're trying to control their emotions, not lash out. They're trying not to let anything out on you because I think they still have some baggage here. Now, how do you guys see your roles in the relationship? Well, for you, death comes in for them two of swords. So there's a real transformation here for you in terms of the type of partner you are. Okay, so this relationship, this person, you know, with Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is so unique and so interesting and... Uh, creative and eccentric, it could very well be cancer that you've never really met anybody like this before, right? And so it's causing you to have a whole transformation in the type of partner you see yourself being and the type of relationship you see yourself in. And there is rebirth there, you know, death and rebirth go hand in hand. Your person, they're dealing with some issues. They're dealing with some, comp, you know, decisions, um, they're weighed down with the past here. And so there's definitely, some, you know, they're not entirely sure they want to move forward. And they're, it's, they're, it's very difficult for them to make a decision. Even me here, I'm stuttering because that's the energy that I have from them. They're kind of start, stop, start, stop. Um, they're, they're not sure to how to go forward with you, to go forward with you, to not. You know, there is some baggage here with this person that they really need to let go of. Nevertheless, yes, they see a Ten of Pentacles with you. They see a wonderful life with you and an opportunity here to, to be happy with you. But there is healing that needs to happen. Right now, there is too much baggage in the way. Yes, King of Pentacles for you. You really want to lock it down. And there's justice coming in for them. So they're really wanting to... Uh, there is a balance that needs to come in for them. There is a power dynamic that they really need to sort of correct. They may be dealing right now still with the fallout of this previous relationship. They may be having to go to court. They may be having to deal with agreements or paperwork or somehow disentangling themselves. And so, yeah, they're finding it difficult making a decision here. You know, um, they they feel like they're being pulled from both ends, you know, to be with you, to be, you know, to not, you know, to finish off this relationship. But is that, you know, should they really be rebounding? You may be dealing with someone cancer who's very much on the rebound. OK, 
you come in with King of Pentacles, so you really are wanting to kind of lock this down in a very profound and physical and sort of, uh, I want to say, uh, foundational, secure way. Like, yes, you and I are together and we are building this together and let's move forward type of thing, right? Nevertheless, your person is on the fence. Now, possible outcomes for this reading before we get into all your oracle cards that I'm going to pull is... Yeah, for you, you resonate with magician energy and your person resonates with knight of swords. So for you, again, you the magician comes in twice. This relationship is really going to um, require you to uh, put a lot of yourself into it. You know, um, put all of your talent into it if you want this person to get this person. Because as I say, they're kind of dealing with a lot right now. You know, they're coming out of, for, for those of you who are resonating, that your person is definitely rebounding in some way. Or if it hasn't been a previous relationship in the recent past, they're still not quite over it. Or they're dealing with issues to do with it. That means that they can't be over it yet. Especially with this justice here, for some of you, um, your person is still having to sort of deal with legal issues, bureaucratic issues associated with this past relationship. They come in with Knight of Swords. So for them, they're still kind of chasing a sense of uh, what they want, you know, a sense of freedom um, and, and sort of being able to do whatever it is they want to do. Again, this feels like a person on the rebound. So Cancer, you know, let me move these down so we can pull your Oracle cards. Yeah, it feels like a person on a rebound. And so they're not entirely, they're not entirely ready to jump into what you might be wanting here, which definitely feels like you're wanting to lock it down in a really weird, weird, uh, real way, right? Um, again, though, uh, it, it's not that your person doesn't see a future with you. They clearly do. But it's just that they're really dealing with some baggage right now that they're having to kind of fix and, you know, see through to the end of a previous connection. Um, and again, they may they have some healing that they need to do. Nevertheless, if you employ all your skill, your capability, your charm, your charisma, you know, your attention here, Cancer, there's no reason that you can't um, get this person. Unveiling comes in. I'm going to pull another uh, oracle card for you. Unveiling. Is it clouded or is it radiant? You know, there's a feeling here of, uh, yeah, unveiling, getting down to the gem, the truth. You know, um, yeah, right now there is a shroud. That's why you have this moon energy, this shrouded feeling, because you're not really sure what's going on with them. And their energy may not be forward to you right now. But again, that's because they're really very much still dealing with this past connection, you know, and it's sadness. Yeah, there's sadness here still. I mean, they do have a five of cups. There's sadness and... Um, you know, it could, you know, it feels to me like they're coming out of something that was probably quite serious, probably quite long term. And yeah, it's the end of it. But that's not to say that it's not taking them a little bit of time. OK, just a little bit of time to get through this. Even still, you, you're you wanting, you know, you want this, you want this, you want this, you want this with them. But patience is really uh, what is called for here. Let me pull out your two animal spirits. <clears throat> Earthworm, brand new, the novice. And the otter. Ah, oh, there's a lot of love here, though, Cancer. A lot of love. Earthworm energy, though. Let me come to this first. Earthworm, of course, is earth energy. And the earthworm is the animal spirit for the novice, the newbie right? The amateur, the one who's just now sort of coming out and showing their talents and showing what they got. And they just feel insecure. A lot of insecurity associated with the earthworm, a lot of fear of rejection or fear of um, failure, right? It's associated with earthworm energy. So um, yeah, this may be resonating with your person. They may have some fears right here with you or with this connection. You and yourself may have some fears. Again, this person represents somebody you've never really met. You've never really met somebody like this person before. And so um, that's really giving you a lot 
uh, a lot to think about, right? Um, now the otter, let's come to that beautiful water spirit, the otter. The otter is all about love and affection. The otter isn't really concerned about all of the other stuff. Otter energy is not jealous or possessive or anything. The only thing the otter really loves and enjoys and focuses on is being in the present moment with the person they with the with the uh, object of their affection or love, right? In this case, for you being present with the person you love, per, you know, being in the moment. So outer energy reminds us to enjoy the moments in the moments when we're together because there is certainly some angst and anxiety surrounding your person here. And of course, that is going to slip onto you too, especially you have moon energy. You, you're naturally coming in with some angst uh, this week. Uh, regards this connection. All right, let me go ahead and pull one more, couple more of these beautiful Radiant Sun Oracle cards, and then I'm going to call this your reading. Um, yeah, Cancer, this is a new connection with somebody who's like really kind of finishing off some stuff, you know? They're finishing off some stuff. They're finishing off a previous relationship. They're trying to heal from a previous relationship. Harmony. And practicality. Well, these two beautiful parts. Harmony and practicality. So, yeah, there is a strong harmony here for you. Uh, I believe we have, this is Sun and Libra energy is the harmony. And, of course, we have Moon and Capricorn, which is practicality. Um, yeah, there's a practical side to all of this. There's a harmonious side to your energy with this person. You, you, you two really enjoy your time together with each other. There is... Uh, a, a strong connection here. Otter energy is at play. But there's a practicality to some things. And there are some real things, uh, mostly from the outside world, that are coming in that are preventing the, the two of you from being where you want to be at in this relationship. But give it some time. What's required here is patience. Um, just like the earthworm is new at something, it needs practice and time to get better. This relationship needs time. Um, needs a lot of, needs time, needs time. That's it. You know, your person needs some time, um, but not, don't lose the thread because there is a connection here. And so just, just be patient and, and keep the connection alive and vibrant, but be patient. All right, Cancer, this is your uh, weekly love tarot reading for you and a particular person in your life. I hope you got something out of this. I hope it resonated. If it did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Um, Go ahead and chat, uh, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment. All of those interactions really help my channel. And I appreciate it when you take the time to do that. But for right now, this is Bow and Arrow Tarot. I wish you and your cross watchers and everyone who watched this video love, life, and happiness. And I hope to see you guys um, next Wednesday for your Cancer Weekly Love Tarot Reading. Bye-bye now.